We've covered a number of great minor league ballparks on this channel already, but with 120 total teams to cover, we've only scratched the surface when discussing the absolute best ballparks. So today we've got a few more great stadiums to check out. These are in no particular order, but after assembling this list, I noticed that most were in the South, and I don't really know what to make of that, but I do find it interesting. It's like the Southern states just know how to make great ballparks. For example, the Joseph P. Riley Jr. Park, also known as the Joe, which is home to the Charleston River Dogs. This is an absolutely beautiful stadium with an emphasis on fun. The front office has a quote-unquote fun is good philosophy and I mean in fact famously Bill Murray is a co-owner of this team and he is listed on the official staff directory as the director of fun. This is a ballpark that has a reputation of having very vibrant fans and a spirited environment and that combination of fun and just the beautiful surroundings of this ballpark are a perfect complement to the city of Charleston one of the coolest and most historic cities of the South. I love Charleston, South Carolina. The only time I've ever been there, the River Dogs were not in town, which was a huge bummer, but it presents the opportunity for me to go back, hopefully soon in the near future, and check out a game here. Absolutely gorgeous stadium to kick things off here. We're gonna stay in South Carolina for our next ballpark here. This is Fleur Field. I hope I'm saying that right. Fleur Field at the West End, home of the Greenville Drive. And what an absolute beauty with this ballpark. We mentioned in part two of our best ballparks in minor league baseball, we talked about the Portland Sea Dogs, Paying homage to their parent club, the Boston Red Sox. Well, the Greenville Drive do that quite well as well. This ballpark has near identical dimensions to Fenway Park, complete with their own version of the Green Monster there in left field. This one is 30 feet tall. The ballpark also has a manual scoreboard. It's got its own version of Pesky's pole there in right field. And of course, the crowd sings Sweet Caroline in the seventh inning, making this like a darn near identical stamp of the Boston Red Sox Fenway Park. One of my favorite pieces about this ballpark is that it features reclaimed bricks from local mills, which is a really nice way to present the history of the city and it adds a sort of timeless nostalgic look to it fantastic ballpark yeah south carolina is just littered with amazing minor league ballparks and yeah greenville and charleston absolutely killing it let's move on to nearby north carolina and check out the fayetteville woodpeckers who play here in Sagra park ballpark that opened up a few years ago in 2019 so we got a new stadium here very modern very spacious it has a sort of traditional meets modern kind of look to it it's in the heart of downtown fayetteville but with all the comforts and bells and whistles that you would expect especially from a newer stadium that opened up in 2019. i really especially love the bar style seating along some of the walls that to me is my preferred style of uh, seating when i go to any ballpark kind of creates an atmosphere of like flexibility giving you that option to sort of move around and explore sit for a minute sip your beer move on i love being able to walk around uh, new ballparks that i check out and Fayetteville here, yeah, the modern spaciousness to it creates an element that's really attractive to sort of wander and stroll. And I just love that. I think that this is a great ballpark. It's not the first one that we're going to see in North Carolina today. Again, something about the South. These teams just really know how to do it. And let's stay South here for our next one. This is the AAA affiliate of the Atlanta Braves, the Gwinnett Stripers, who play a cool Ray field here. Now, to me, this is built similarly to the parent club with the Atlanta Braves, and then it's in more of a suburban location. This is in Gwinnett County, which is sort of northeast of downtown Atlanta. So it's really not too far from downtown Atlanta. It's kind of still in the metro area. So this is not a far drive from the AAA team to have to have players that move up to Major League Baseball. The ballpark here is really nice, clean, modern, sleek, which I would say is also true of Truist Park in Cobb County where the Braves play. Now, Corey Field here is starting to become surrounded by kind of more modern apartments, uh, complete with pools and really nice views into the ballpark, which is a pretty interesting look. I mean, it gets a lot more eyes on every single home game. I don't know. I just find that really interesting. There's not a lot of professional teams out there that have their neighbors right there on the ballpark being able to look in like this. We've covered a few in this series to sort of have like apartments built around, but nothing like Cool Ray Field. There's just so many like apartments right there at the ballpark. I think it's a really neat look and I'm a fan of this. I think this is a cool stadium. Let's go back to North Carolina here for our next ballpark. This is LP France Stadium, home to the Hickory Crawdads. This ballpark opened in 1993, but you wouldn't really realize this is three decades old. The ballpark has held up really, really well. It's had tons of improvements and upgrades over the years and now features party patios, a picnic pavilion, VIP suites. So it's got all the amenities you would expect of a newer ballpark. But what I love about this, there's tons of green, lush vegetation surrounding the ballpark. It's kind of a bit northwest of downtown Hickory, North Carolina. So you get a lot of like this tree green coverage foliage. And I really like that vibe. I like downtown ballparks too, but like having all that greenery gives this vibe of relaxation and comfort to an otherwise pretty unassuming park. Like I think this is punching above its weight in that regard. And I think it's great. This would be a great chill place to go catch a game and I'm adding it to my list of ballparks that I want to someday explore and that's why it made our part three video. Let's kind of flip the script and go downtown though. This is the triple A 
Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp, who are the affiliate of the Miami Marlins. Now this is a big, beautiful ballpark right in downtown Jacksonville, an underrated city with just an absolutely gorgeous ballpark. Now looking this up, I actually thought it was built more recently than 2003 because this feels brand new. Like this is aged really well in the two decades that it's been open. It's got tons of seating and even a good sized upper deck, but my favorite spot in this ballpark has got to be the Tiki Terrace area over there in left field. What a super chill, like just relaxing looking place to take in a game with a cocktail in hand. I don't know. I just, I like that spot over there. It looks cozy and chill, but this ballpark as a whole just feels very open and very inviting right there in downtown Jacksonville. Awesome ballpark, crazy name with the jumbo shrimp, but I love it. I think this is a fantastic ballpark, ton of fun. And guess what guys, we're going right back to North Carolina. You can see a trend here. We've got the Canapolis Cannonballers who play at Atrium Health Ballpark, open in 2020, brand new ballpark that replaced the historic and iconic Intimidator Stadium. And actually the Intimidator Stadium was pretty recently demolished and it's kind of a shame I would have loved to have seen that ballpark myself uh, that was back when this team was named the Intimidators which was based off of part owner Dale Earnhardt who was known as the Intimidator but elements of that theming are in the new logo and in this new mascot he's got the iconic Dale Earnhardt mustache as he's popping out of a cannon and this ballpark here Atrium Health was built kind of more in the central part of Kannapolis right off of Dale Earnhardt Boulevard and they did a great job with this park it's very spacious and it kind of has this sort of carnival vibe going on along the third base side complete with this really awesome playground. So great place to take out the family, the kiddos, excellent place to catch a game here in Kannapolis, North Carolina, kind of just Northeast of Charlotte. Great looking ballpark, big fan of this one. Coming up next, we've got the Rocket City Trash Pandas here at Toyota Field, a team that got really popular in recent years given its unique name. And wow, it's got a really unique ballpark to match. Super fitting here. It's got this crazy looking outfield concourse that, you know, kind of zigzags around. And I don't know, it's it just, it's weird. It's, and I like it. It's weird in a great way. It just looks so much fun to walk around and stroll in that outfield. I just love that kind of thing. You know, when I go to a ballpark, I want to be able to walk around, check everything out, look at the different food options. And yeah, Rocket City here in Northern Alabama over just outside of Huntsville, really encouraging and inviting for that sort of exploration around their ballpark. And there's kind of space around this ballpark to kind of grow or expand amenities and features and sort of develop this property where the trash pandas play. Yeah, what an incredible ballpark. Unique seating options too include this really awesome picnic table area that looks so cozy and chill. Uh, yeah, I really want to go see this ballpark in the near future. Let's check out another AAA stadium here with the Syracuse Mets who play at MBT Bank Stadium. Another beautiful looking ballpark. I'm going to say the word beautiful. I've already said it enough, enough times today, but I'm going to keep saying it because these are just fantastic ballparks. This is sitting about a mile north of downtown Syracuse. And just pretty recently in 2021, they had a $25 million renovation project completed, which was kind of in an effort to commit to this current location just north of downtown, as opposed to building something more in the heart of downtown Syracuse, New York. And that renovation project actually removed about 2,000 seats, which really opened up the ballpark and it allowed the remaining seats to be upgraded into kind of more like comfortable seats, giving fans a better experience. And it also angled the remaining seats for more appropriate and improved view and experience. And I gotta say, I liked this ballpark even before the renovation innovations but afterwards I mean they just really killed it and committed to keeping this ballpark just gorgeous and attractive to be at super great ballpark here and I wanted to feature another AAA ballpark here on this list this is Principal Park the oldest ballpark we're going to look at today opened in 1992 home of the AAA Iowa Cubs this ballpark is in a beautiful location in downtown Des Moines Iowa right where the Raccoon River meets the Des Moines River and you can actually see the Capitol building in the outfield I love that feature that's super super cool now this ballpark it's been renovated over the years as well with a future vision to put in a quote unquote cubby village entertainment district kind of similar to what you would expect if you were hanging around Wrigley Field. And given the location of this ballpark, it's set up really nicely to feature such a district. And if the Iowa Cubs go through on this and they continue to renovate their ballpark in the way that they have, there's a chance to make this one of the preeminent ballparks in all of professional baseball. This is such an incredible ballpark. And funny enough, it's the only one that we're looking at today that's not in the Northeast or the South. Gotta love the Midwest. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna talk about the New Hampshire Fisher Cats who play here at Delta Dental Stadium. AA affiliate for the Toronto Blue Jays. And the first thing that kind of stands out when you look at this ballpark is the hotel that's right there kind of in left center. This is the Hilton Garden Inn there in the outfield. It's a really unique feature that actually has an entrance built right into the concourse. So if you're staying there at this hotel, you can literally walk out a door and into the ballpark. 
and the rooms there too. Just an awesome view from the hotel into the actual ballpark itself. I mean, because this is an affiliate for the Blue Jays, maybe they're taking a page out of Rogers Center's playbook a little bit. I know that ballpark there has a hotel right there in center field, so who knows? Either way, it's a super cool look. But even beyond that hotel, this is a super laid back ballpark, very approachable with modern amenities that are just kind of aimed at giving fans a great experience overall. Grab a room, catch a ball game, perfect. Awesome ballpark. And guess what, guys? We're going right back to North Carolina to close this video out today. I don't know what it is about the Carolinas and the, and the South as a whole. They're killing it, though. We got the Greensboro Grasshoppers here at First National Bank Field. High A affiliate of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Go Pirates. That's my team. Great one to end on. Fantastic park here in Greensboro. Very underrated view of downtown Greensboro, North Carolina. There are so many of these kind of small major cities in North Carolina, and many of which have a minor league baseball team, and all of those stadiums nail it. This one is no different here in Greensboro. A beautiful, modern, spacious ballpark, fantastic views all around of downtown Greensboro. And it's no surprise that this ballpark consistently has among the best attendance in AA baseball, which is a testament to how great it serves its fans. Again, with that great view and location. And to be fair, most of these ballparks can boast about their attendance stats because of how much care and consideration went into each one of these. And that being said, Comment down below if you've been to any of these ballparks and be sure and like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, which I really hope you guys did. Thanks so much for clicking. Thanks so much for hanging out. We will see you guys in the next video.